we're coming to you live from the Charlie's Angels premiere in Westwood, California. And um, we got all kinds of surprises on this red carpet tonight, so <laughs> stay with it and have fun watching the movie. So we are here at the Charlie's Angels premiere, premiering Charlie's Angels. <laughs> It's a lot of energy today. There's a lot of excitement. We've got the albums playing in the background. We've got a little bit of Donna Summers that's just kicked in. It's a good vibe. <laughs> so funnily enough, when I got my audition through, the, the actual audition didn't say Charlie's Angels. It said Silver Cloud, this sort of mysterious movie that no one knows what it is. And I actually read the logline of the film and the breakdown for the character before even getting to the bottom of the email where it was like, oh, by the way, this is Charlie's Angels. Um, so just from having that, you know, already I wanted to be part of it without even knowing that it was this huge franchise. Um, and then also Elizabeth Banks being on the helm of it. I mean, she's a powerhouse and it's incredible to work with her too. Elizabeth Banks is a woman who knows what she wants and she's gonna get it. <laughs> there were times when we were on set and she would literally be directing as she was acting and she also has the back kind of thing going on of the producer and trust it was incredible um, and what she did in amazingly well is bringing out our, all of our sort of strengths amongst each other in a group of in a group of women and it felt like we shone they were so much fun it was an instant sisterhood i mean i love them to pieces um, we hang out even when we're not, you know, working and I mean we had a lot of fun and it, it shows, I hope. Um, yeah, it was, it was wicked. I think there is such an incredible opportunity to show women at their strongest, at their at doing what they love and doing it well. And, you know, Elizabeth always says for this film, they, she wanted to have the idea that these women fought smarter and but not hard, like not harder. So where we where we have our strengths and our weaknesses we build each other up you know you see us win cry laugh and fail and all of that and it's a real accurate depiction of women in the workplace um and then on top of that like sisterhood sisterhood it's a fun loving incredible story about these women who come together to to kick some butt <laughs> charlie's angels okay People need to come and see this because not only is it fun, not only is it inspiring, but I mean, it's a good movie. <laughs> well, I mean, we're at the Charlie's Angels premiere in Los Angeles. I'm not sure exactly what time it is, but um, yeah, we're like ready to show people the movie and stuff, you know, we're stoked. I see these girls constantly, which like makes my life better. So tonight's not like some exceptional thing, I just can't wait, I, like I'm so proud of these girls, they did such a good job. They're young kiddos compared to like me and they're like people that I'd want, if I saw them in a movie I'd be like, Shh, can I please be friends with you? And I get to luckily in real life be friends with them. Liz is a winner man, she like, uh, she has a nice finger on the pulse of what people need right now and um, She's like the big sister I never had and and in terms of like female filmmakers I just like I know her intrinsically I just think that she's she's the person we should be listening to and then as far as my co-stars are concerned they're the nicest coolest um, most like natural uh, if I was in high school I would have been lucky to be friends with them we think of like the Charlie's Angels as like three exceptional women that are like superheroes and they were, and I grew up being like, like, so admiring of them, I love them, I love the movies. But ours are sick, because there are three, but there are like a thousand times ten women across the globe that you would just never know were angels. And so like, um, it's a kind of grounded, dope version of what we know to be aspirational. Where it's like any one of us could be somebody who wanted to add to the greater good of the world we live in and be together in that rather than have it be like a sort of, um, I don't know, kind of like a, a Hollywood version. It just feels a little bit grounded and a little bit like, yo, any one of us could kick it. We have so much fun. Like, I've never made a fun movie in my life. <laughs> I can vouch for this one. Between Liz, myself, Naomi, and Ella, like, 
we got you. Like that's, I feel like the movie just kind of makes you feel like in a time where people don't know exactly where their alliances are necessarily or like how hard it is to find them, we're here. You know, I know that sounds general, but like for anyone that really needs that, you know what I'm saying. We are in Westwood for the premiere of Charlie's Angels. We've got buses, we've got the soundtrack playing, we've got a bunch of badass women looking amazing, feeling amazing, it's a good time. So I'm working with Kristen Stewart, legendary of course, Ella Belinska who is a real life ninja, um, and Elizabeth Banks who is the epitome of boss ladies. So I feel very blessed to be amongst these women and I'm learning, I've learned so much from them and um, yeah, I'm just so excited to be here. I mean, there's so many different reasons why Liz is the perfect person to lead the charge of this movie. Um, you know, everything in terms of her producing, her directing, all of that experience, her comedic sensibility, which I feel like she brings, um, really brings into the tone of this movie that makes it so fun. And for me as an actress as well, really kind of pushed me in that, in that way. Um, and you know, she's a woman and she understands being a woman at work and that is ultimately what the movie's about. Well, I think it's a continuation, you know. There was definitely, um, there was scope there because whereas before the agency was obviously based in California, now it's gone global. And I think that really speaks to the message of the movie, which is basically, hey, Angels are everywhere. You're an angel, you're an angel. You know, we can all be angels together. And, um, you know, there's power in numbers. So I think that that's why it's so perfect. And also, it's, um, you know, it was like 20 years pretty much in between each kind of iteration. Um, so now's the perfect time. Quite honestly, at this time, this is the movie that I would want to go and see. There's so much going on. And I kind of feel like this is the sort of movie that you walk out feeling so good and having such a blast, laughing a hell of a lot and as a woman as well it makes you want to call up your girlfriends and just be like hey girl and encourage each other and um, yeah I, I, it's, it's the most fun. This is an extraordinary franchise with a long history and uh, that so many people should turn out for it is very satisfying. The Three Angels and Bosley which is our director Elizabeth, uh, they are extraordinary. Not just the, the richness and complexity of the performances, but their physicality is amazing. It feels to me to be such a perfect association of Elizabeth and this movie and the performers that I, I don't think it needs any explanation or justification. It's just right. It might have something to do with the empowerment of women. And more of why are they empowered in this movie?